Hey, this is Steve. We're in the shop at the Austin Valley Railroad. Uh, recently, I purchased this item uh, mainly because I wanted another F7 uh, war bonnet uh, so I could have a ABA set. I've got a had an AB now, got an ABA set. And that's the main reason I got that. It's a little bit hard to find nowadays. Uh, and the cars, they was just extra. I wasn't wasn't really needing cars or wanting the cars, but they are nice cars. After I got them and after he ran them and, and looked at them and stuff, it was really nice cars. And then the little Santa Fe Caboose, I've got a ABA set of the Cigar Bend Santa Fe's coming, so I kind of needed a caboose for it. But there was a there's a little extra with the caboose I didn't know about. Uh, when I got the caboose or got the set, uh, see if I can get that in there I found out the caboose can be lit up using one of the uh, light kits from Cato uh, and so I thought well that's a pretty cool little asset I'll put that in there I know a lot of a lot of guys don't like the lights in the caboose that's understandable they really didn't run with the caboose but I've got some grandchildren that are gonna love a light in the caboose uh, so I thought, well, that was really cool. So I commenced trying to uh, put the light kit in there last night and end up spending several hours trying to figure it out. And with the instructions, they're kind of vague. Uh, I looked, watched, watched a lot of videos. And I couldn't find any videos at all, actually, on the caboose. And just run to run into a a dead end so I called Cato this morning and I was talking to them and they said they hadn't run it they hadn't even tried putting a light kit in the caboose and uh, they didn't really know any anything other than what I had known uh, I told them what the deal was I don't know if you can see it or not these little my problem was right here. Everything else went fine. My problem was right here. I don't know if I can get a good shot of that in there or not. Now this little piece right here. Well, that went before. Oh well. We got another one here. But anyway, it's this little uh, contact strip uh, that they give you. It's supposed to slide up in the hose. If if you watch the the lighting kits on the other videos there's quite a few of them on there uh, these little contact strips just slide up in them holes real easily these here would not slide up in the holes very easily As a matter of fact they would go so far and then stop uh, so the, the guys at Cato they told me to just kind of just work with it modify it see what I could come up with they really didn't know so that's what I did. I come back in here in the shop and commenced to tear this little booger apart. And I had to tear it down all the way. Take the wheels off. You had to take the wheels off. Sorry that you didn't get to watch me tear it down. But I didn't realize I was going to make this video until after I got it tore down. I thought, you know, uh, somebody else may run into this. May want to know how to do this. And uh, I kind of let let y'all learn with me as I'm going now as I'm putting it back together but with with most Cato stuff they have these little I don't know if you can see them or not hard to see and, but they've got these little contact strips for the wheel pickups they sit down in there like so and if you notice they have this little ridge on top of it, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's got this little ridge right here. I figured out that that's where the other, the lighting kit contact strip was stopping. After I got the, the caboose tore down, and there was no way of getting around that. Uh, there's nothing I could do without just really tearing up the contact strip in the lighting kit and I really didn't want to do that so I thought well 
the only thing I know to do is just cut them down to size. So, so I measured them as close as I could and cut them. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's quite a bit of difference in the length of it. Got about half of it on. I'm gonna try that, see how that works. Hopefully, hopefully it works. It should work. Other than that, I'm just gonna hang it up. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Anyway, I kind of show you how this thing goes back together uh, while we're sitting here. Because this obviously is your the chassis part. Like I said, you got you to take off the wheels and everything. Let me try to get this around so you can see a little better. So you got this piece. You got the weight. And down here where maybe you can see it. Sorry, my hands was in the way there. But you've got the weight. The weight fits in there like so. I'll get this set in a minute, guys. The weight sits in it like so. This little plastic cover piece holds it down. Now, that was pretty bigger to get out of there. You've got to pull the wheels off before you take that piece out. Uh, the screws that holds the trucks in comes up into that plastic and it's just about impossible probably is impossible to get it out and then they've got four little tabs on each side that you've got to spread kind of the chassis apart and pry them out uh, that's a pretty good chore too I'll try to snap this back in here oh yeah snap that back in there on one side Snaps back, snaps back into place. Sorry, that's probably out of you. <laughs> snaps back into place. And you won't turn it upside down. Put the trucks back on it. Real easy. It's a real easy little caboose to take apart. I gotta give them credit, potato credit for that one. And it's a good thing. Uh, hopefully the lighting works okay. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty bright. Um, I just I, I did a RDC last night, and uh, that came out really good. Uh, the only thing they're not 85 feet long, so your light bar is 85 feet long, or you know scale close to 85 feet probably about 80 but it will not fit in the RDC so I just let the little unit in it and it really works the light really works well uh, I'm not displeased with that at all had, had a little time trying to figure that out because I tried to put the light bar in there and that wasn't happening so actually it would fit in there but once once it got fit in there, then you couldn't get your bottom piece on correctly because it was putting a bind on that little lighting unit. So that. steps come off, steps real easy. Uh oh, no problem there. It's not good. Okay, so we got this little piece back together. Uh, really, take it off, take it apart. When you're taking it apart, all you gotta do is, like I say, remove the trucks, and then take a, a little screwdriver or something like that, and just kind of stick up under there and pry it off, pry it out there gently, uh, and it comes right apart. Um, and we'll just reverse it, going back together. So I've got this one ready. Uh, 
So, like I say, the steps, the steps just kind of just clip on there. I mean, it fell right off, so they ought to just snap right back on there. Say that. There we go. Never does go like it's supposed to. There it goes like that. Should be doing it a lot better. Okay. Like I said, okay. Get them on there. Here's our little contact strips. You can say I test fitted them. They're gonna slide in there just like they're supposed to. I hope you don't see that. Hope my big fat fingers ain't in the way. Get that. Don't know if it helps or not. Now, there's lots of lots of videos on there about putting these Kato lights in passenger cars and stuff you've got Cato of course they show a video uh, I think his name is Don Miller uh, he has quite a few videos on him uh, it's real informative and uh, uh, to Bob's in scale man cave he I, he's got the best one I believe uh, it's long but it's very informative. Uh, oh, the Bobby does a good job on that on that video. Really, really enjoyed it. Learned a lot. So, learned some stuff from him that I missed on the other ones. Cato's not real. They do a good job of explaining it. But uh, that's that's it. They just kind of explain it. They don't really tell you about some of the problems that you're going to run into, uh, like right here, uh, getting these little springs, uh, contact strips in the right spot sometimes as a booger. Yeah, let's see, that's what's going on the wrong side there. You gotta make sure the contact spring touches that little element on the LED. Well, not really element, it's just a little wire that comes down here. Yeah, but check out some of the other videos if you're interested in putting a light kit in a Kato past your car. Um, I think we'll take that one out. I noticed that when I put it in, it was a little, it was a little bent. So I'm just going to kind of bend it up a little bit. bent back and shipping and stuff. I think this one was bent back and shipping. I'm just kind of straight up a little bit. I kind of I kind of tell you that to do that on one of the one of the passenger cars. You know, I can't remember which one it was, but it kind of said you kind of got to do that. If you put one of these on there, always try to use that diffuser. It looks a lot better. I tried running my RDC last night without that little diff diffuser, and it's just really way too bright. It's not even prototypical at all. So it's so bright, it, it's not even toyish. It's just, but you put that diffuser in there, and, and it works a lot better. And in Cato, the Cato does in their Kobo shops when the when you get a lighting cars or lit cars from Kobo, uh, they are definitely using that 
Okay. And that is basically all there is to that little part. Uh, and like I say, the body, the body will go back on it. I got to put the windows in it. My windows fell out, but that's normally snap back in there. And put the windows back in there and uh, get her back together. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll put it on the track and let y'all see how it works. All right. Okay, that's what it looks like when it's back together and it's sitting on powered up track. Uh, lots of working pretty good. Got a little bit of flicker, but the caboose is light, so it don't weigh that much. So I've noticed that when I'm pulling it around, it seems to be doing fine. I've got dirty track, so, you know, that causes it to flicker. But other than that, it turned out pretty good, really. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, Here's what it looks like with the lights dimmed. So, yeah, I think it'll be a, a neat little novelty for my grandchildren there. Hopefully they'll get a kick out of that. So, but anyway, I guess this concludes this little, this little episode of putting the lights in a Kato caboose. Uh, it's a little bit of a learning curve for me. So, but like I say, watch some of my other videos. Uh, they're pretty good, pretty informative of how I didn't go really in depth too much about putting the lighting system in because that was really not what it was about. It was just how more or less to get them little copper copper strips in there. It seems to be working really good. Uh, I'm happy with it. So, but anyway, well, happy railroading to y'all and God bless you and thanks for watching. Talk to you later. This is Steve. I'm out.